What's wrong with this picture? Come on, take a good look. Here's another hint. Have you figured out what was wrong with that picture? And why is it like that anyway? Here's what happened. So here we are. As you can see behind me, we are in the middle of nowhere, basically. Um, we are, we are 42, almost 43 miles from home. And we were attempting to come down this sandy road here. As you can see, it is a bit sandy. You can see, hopefully by the tire marks there. Um, we've got these narrow tires, which are not really sand or soft terrain friendly, and almost lost control. As the front tire sunk in and washed out. This caused a loss of steering and the bike to suddenly tip over with the stoker on board, kind of like this. I put a foot down and caught the bike as we were falling, but the weight of the bike and stoker was too much for the carbon handlebar to bear. And as a result, we just cracked a carbon handlebar. So I'm a long way from home with a handlebar that's only hanging on by a couple of threads. If I put any amount of weight on this, I mean, I don't know, it'll probably break off. So here's what I'm going to do. Because it's a tandem, it's got two identical handlebars. I'm going to do a little bit of MacGyver surgery here. And because this stem has a wider and a smoother clamp area than the one up front, I'm going to take this handlebar, put it in the front, take this one and put it in back and clamp it more along this area. So this affected area is in the middle of this clamp and it should be plenty secure. I suggest you all move back for this. Life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. <laughs> what do you I'm say there, Shemaine? I am so like, no. <laughs> Come on, Shemaine, what do you say? John, you don't really want me to tell you right now. Yes, I do. Go no. ahead, say it. Say what's on your mind. No. At least you're <laughs> smiling. All right, so I just removed the grips from the stoker handlebar. Just pulled them right off. Now I gotta remove these. Luckily, the ones up front are lock-on grips. should disconnect the front brake cable first before I do this. Oh gosh. It never failed. Okay, so let's do that. It's gonna make for some good drama. Drama? Huh. You don't really want drama now, do you? <laughs> Look at this folks. This is what John was trying to maneuver this big old tandem bike with a stoker in the back, sand. <laughs> sand see now you tell me this was an accident waiting to happen now we need to go to and the bar. see all right so i got the captain's handlebar removed brake lever off stem cap grips and here's the handlebar there's the captain's handlebar and as you can see big old crack in the carbon material there so I'm gonna put it back there and the rear handlebar is gonna go up front and that's how we're gonna get home doing a yeah I'm doing a switcheroo don't have much choice I think I gotta switch you <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> don't do anything dangerous. Don't don't do something that's gonna be dangerous. Oh jeez. <laughs> so what are you doing right now, John? Exactly. I am removing the rear admiral's handlebars. I see. AKA Stoker handlebars to put up front. Because as you can see, this one's still in awesome condition. Nothing wrong with it. Is there any part that's broken from here? No, that's, no, fine. that's fine. So we're going to take this affected one and I'm going to put it offset. Look at this. 
This is the one that was up front, so I'm going to put it offset a little bit oh. so that the affected part is more in the middle and then clamp it down. So it'll be more towards the left, the longer yeah, part. Yeah, it's not going to be centered, but that's going to be what's going to get us home. Do you really think we'll get home today? Yes, we'll get home. Watch your step here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just told you to watch your step and now you're stepping on my phone and all the <laughs> other stuff. Well, somehow I got to pay you back. <laughs> nice. Great. <laughs> I warned you. I said, do not go into that paisley now, now Mike's trail because it's sandy. Stuff. Hello. I asked you at the beginning of the road. It's like, do you want to go over there or do you want to turn around? We're not arguing, folks. We're just like, this is how we, <laughs> this is how we react when we go out. <laughs> When, no comment. When the captain, like, want to do his own thing, right? No comment. I'm not saying a word. Just watch your I step. I see it. Yeah, you saw it before. You stepped on my phone and cracked it now. Where's your phone? Now I just put it in my pocket. I'm not going to hold wanna, on too well, tight to that. Like well, you have to hold on to it for us to ride. I just, I'm not going to over-tighten the bolts. Too so, see, that's, that's, that's pretty secure. Yeah. Let me see. It looks so, you know. Well, you need the one that's, like, sturdier, right? Yeah. I want him. You didn't. You said, I asked you, do you want to come up? And I didn't know this. I knew this road gets sandy, but I didn't think it would be like this soft. I thought we might be able to handle it with these tires. But no, I said, sweet. John, we need I said, are you sure we can go in there? It looks really, really some deep sand. He goes, oh, we got this. I got this, he said. Right? Something like that. Just kidding. Things happen. Someone told me long ago. I'm just playing around. <laughs> See that. Alright, so this is rear brake. See why you must always ride with tools and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Rear brake, front brake lever. Okay, so now we've got front derailleur gear shifter, rear derailleur gear shifter, and I will position those once the handlebars back on. Put the stem on and the stem cap here. Come on, bushes, you're in the way, down it. Make sure this one's centered. Mm -hmm. Bike's moving out of the way. They don't call us tandem adventurers for nothing. Every ride is some sort of an adventure, whether it's a Planned one or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right there in the middle. You notice how that one is bent a little bit in the back? Well, they have they have a bend to them. They naturally oh, have, okay. have a bend. That's the way they're made. Alrighty. You know what? Mm -hmm. I did this wrong. Why? I forgot. I had the shifter on this side of the brake, so I gotta take this all off again. I thought something was funky. There we go. That's better. Much better. I thought that's how you had it before. No, it was slightly different. No, the shifter goes on first. Okay. How you doing here, John? All right, coming along. Okay. Boy, this is that took like about a half an hour out of our time, John. <laughs> you sorry about it? Are you sorry about it? A few minutes later. Okay, so I just got the bike 
MacGyvered and completed. Uh, this is what was the Stoker handlebar and this is what was the Captain handlebar. It's offset and as you can see I, uh, I moved the left hand grip inboard a bit to try to even out or center the hand positions. So we are back in business and we're gonna turn around here because of what happened. We were gonna go up this way and see how far we get, but change of plans. This road's a little bit sandier, or quite a bit more sandier actually than I expected. And our narrow 1.5 inch tires definitely aren't suited for this terrain. As the crow flies, we've got 30 miles to get back home. So we are gonna make our way back now. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, we're at the Bear Pond Trailhead, southern end of the Seminole State Forest. We've gone around 12 and a half miles, I think, from where we had to turn around and where we did the handlebar swap. So far, the MacGyver Stoker handlebar is it's hanging in there pretty well. Um, we're just here taking a quick break. Uh, gonna sip some water. Let's see, so far we've covered 51.16 miles. And as the crow flies, we've got about 16 miles to get home from here. Um, that's not including if we take a slight extension detour on the way back, which we might do. I don't know, it all depends on how the rear admiral feels. What do you say there, rear admiral? What do you say there? I don't know. What do you say in, in general? Your phone's beeping. I know. <laughs> How far till we get home? About 20 miles. All right. <laughs> I'll take that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Well, I guess that's no good anymore.